In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to allocate sales ledger receipts from Excel to Sage 200 using Codis Accelerator. Here is our sales ledger receipt template. We can allocate single or multiple customer receipts, but today we're going to allocate the receipt for a single customer. To begin, we log in. Your Windows credentials will be used automatically if you have Sage 200 version 2013 or later. First, we'll select the bank account that the receipt will be allocated to. We can do this by right-clicking the cell and browsing for the bank data that is stored in Sage. Then, we'll add the customer by again browsing for and selecting the data. Next, we'll add details of the receipt we're going to allocate, including allocation date, cash amount, discount allowed, and the amount we're going to allocate this time. We will also put the cash amount against the invoice that we want the receipt allocated to. We then enter the check details, including check number, second reference, and cash allocated date. Now that we've finished entering the data, we can click Validate to check that the data adheres to Sage 200 rules. Finally, we click Save to Sage to upload this data directly into Sage 200. This dialog box confirms that the allocation has been done for customer Jim001. If we go into Sage 200, we can see that the data has been saved. First, we'll locate the customer. This is the invoice. And this is the receipt we just uploaded from Excel. The amount we allocated is shown here. Now, let's design our own template using the Spreadsheet Designer. To begin, we click the Designer button. In the designer, all standard Sage fields are available. First, we'll enter the number of rows we want in the template. Then, we'll select the fields we want to add to our template. We'll add bank code, bank name, customer, customer reference, cash amount, cash date, invoice reference, allocation amount, and finally, outstanding amount. Now, let's download a customer into our template. We'll add in the bank details. We'll add in a cash amount. This time, we're going to let Accelerator auto-allocate the amount against an invoice. We do this by simply clicking the Auto Allocate button. Here you can see the amount has been automatically allocated against this invoice. We then click Validate and finally Save to Sage. Back in Sage 200 we can see that the data has been saved. This is the invoice. Here you can see that the receipt has been allocated and the amount we allocated is here. Thank you for watching. For more tutorials, please subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. If you are interested in getting Accelerator or want to inquire about a free demo, please contact us sales at codis.co.uk. To learn more about us, visit our website codis.co.uk.